Hello, it's Anastasia. In this video, we will do nail extensions with Rossi Deep System. Deep System have four simple steps: primer, base coat, activator, and seal it with the top coat. They also have brush saver in case you will not be too nice to your brush. I will be using silver hollow powder, which is number 94. And let's prep the nail. I will be doing extensions with tips. First, I fit the tip, make sure it perfectly fits to the size, apply the glue, and press it all the way to the free edge. I am using deep C curve tips, so that's why I need to wait for a few seconds and then do the corners, stick them as well. Now let's cut the length. I decided to do medium and then I will also need to file the tip to make sure that the nail plate and the tip are on the same level. The most important thing is that you need to file only the tip, not your natural nail. And also we need to buff the surface of the tip. Then apply first step, which is primer, only to the nail and base coat, but not all the way to the cuticle, leave the margin. Make sure you apply it all over the tip and the nail and then dip it into the powder. You don't have to wait for a long time, just be careful and do it at 45 degree angle and wait. It's not supposed to be white. Now wait for a few seconds and then with a very soft brush I clean the remaining and okay, now I see that it's silver. Now let's take a look from the side view and you can see that the apex is missing. That's why I will apply base coat only on the center part now and dip it again. It really depends on your nails. If you have a deep C curve naturally, then you might probably not need this step. But my nail is pretty flat, so I definitely need this additional step. The same is fair for ski jump nails. Now I will apply another layer with the margin near the cuticle again, as we need a little bit more product and structure. It also depends on the length. The longer you want to make your nails, the more layers you will need. Now I'm doing the last one, and this time I apply the base coat as close to the cuticle as possible. And it is important to cover the entire surface. If you will miss some corner, then you will simply not have enough product there and you will need to go all over again. So make sure it's all covered, 45 degree angle, fully dip the nail and now it is almost done. Now carefully clean the remaining. Do not press with the brush too much yet, as it is not fully cured. Apply step 3, which is activator, and then you need to wait for about 2 minutes. But as you apply it on all nails, the first one will be ready. Then we slightly pinch it, and this step is optional. I just like square shape when it's slightly tapered, but you don't need to do this. Then we will file the nail. I'm filing the side walls and the free edge as I decided to do traditional square shape and then filing the surface. Actually, I will switch to the buffer because I think that's basically all I need. I will buff the surface and make sure it's all smooth and clean. Then I will apply activator again, wait for another couple minutes and this is how the nail will be fully cured. I noticed that many nail technicians are struggling with the high shine when working with dip systems. So here is the tip. To avoid uh, the dullness with the top coat, you need to buff your nails as smooth as possible. Make sure that you buff out all the small and the deep scratches. So once you're done, clean all the dust and I decided to add a little design. I will be using black gel and create abstract geometric lines on top of the nail. Once you buffed uh, the nail and before applying the top coat, you can decorate it with any nail art that you like. You can use gel or gel polish, you can use acrylic paints, and you can even use regular nail polish, but do not fully cover it, only use it for some small portions of the design. You can use any accessories as well, such as foil, decals, and so on. Then I will cure it since I was using gel, but normally we do not need lamp 
for deep systems as everything is air cured. And the last step is applying top coat. Usually it works better if you apply two coats. It takes around 3 to 5 minutes to simply cure in the air and we are ready. Who said that deep application should be thick and bulky? It is actually quite possible to create a thin, beautiful looking nails. It really depends on how you apply it. So never apply too much, especially near the cuticle and along the sidewalls. I also tried another color, number F263. It's like dark, dusty, purple, pink with hollow silver glitter. It's really hard to explain. Thank you so much for watching. Let me guys know if you ever tried Rossi Dip System and what do you think about it. If it's your first time here on my channel, consider subscribing as I post new nail tutorials just like this one every week. I will see you in my next one. Goodbye!